LBD here again. Just playing a little bit of a little bit of Wii in the office here. Um, I saw some stuff on on a couple forums uh, on uh, Nintendo enthusiast today. People were talking about the SNES, uh, or it's an old post about the SNES, and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. Um, NintendoEnthusiast.com is what I mean. I'm I'm part of their forums there. Um, NES stuff like that. so it got me thinking about you know the the Nintendo con Nintendo consoles. One thing I did think about was they never they've never numbered them like like Sony does. Sony the PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three, which I hate because it's always like it seems really like kind of half-assed. It's about one. It's easy to go two, three. The next one might be four. Whatever, but Nintendo's never really done that. I mean, uh, Microsoft really doesn't do that. And, and actually, I thought about it. Well, Nintendo didn't do that. And then when they were big dogs with Sega, Sega never did that either. But then again, Sega just really had the one system for the most part. The Genesis was the one that did well. I mean, I guess you could say the Master System did pretty well. Um, but Genesis, I mean, the Jaguar, no. Um, the Saturn, no. I mean, that wasn't even out for that long. <laughs> Um, you know, all that stuff, Sega CD, but that was a part, that was a part of the Genesis. It all, Sega pretty much all focused around the Genesis. Now, the Dreamcast was awesome. Um, it just came out a little early, and then it got killed. 56k modem? Oh, man. That was crazy. And I, I remember trying to plug that thing into the, on my phone line. It was like, I can go online and play games with people. And I was like, you have to have internet first. I never, I didn't have internet at the time. But anyways... Nintendo had some great systems. So first off, the NES was awesome. Came out in '85. Um, I was born in '83, so a little young to really be like, oh, I remember these games. I remember buying games, stuff like that. Um, I don't even feel that way about the 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 NES. The, the Super Super Nintendo, the Super Nintendo came out, and was it like 1991 or something like that? And I don't remember ever buying myself games. I don't remember how much they cost or anything like that. But, just thinking about it, I have fond memories of the NES. NES were great. Um, I had a lot of great games. I have a bunch of them. I'm trying to collect the ones that I used to have before I sold them off and stuff like that. But, in 1991, I believe it was like 8. So, the NES, the Super NES, excuse me, was more more of my thing. You know, Super Nintendo, man. Let's play Super Nintendo. Let's play Street Fighter 2. Let's play Chrono Trigger. Aladdin. Aladdin. For, for a Disney game, that thing was awesome. And everybody of all ages played Aladdin. They loved the crap out of it. That was a really good game. The graphics were great. Um, I remember going to Blockbuster and renting games. Or even my, my local... I remember um, in my local store, local uh, town, it was called like Video to Go. And we'd go there and rent games like for two days or something. I don't remember how, much it was, how long it was. But uh, one of my favorite games is um, it's like Super Baseball 2020. That game rocks. If you like baseball games, look up Super Baseball 2020. That game, it had robots, it had humans, robots, jetpacks, which slide really fast, jump really high, catch the ball, uh, robot umpires. It was it was an awesome game. Um, that was a really great game. I remember renting like Final Fight. Final Fight were great, dude. The Super Nintendo had a lot of good beat em ups. I mean, the the Ninja Turtle beat em ups were great. Were great games. Um, but the Super, the Super Nintendo was great. I always remember hitting the, the reset button, the, the, no, not the reset, but the pop out button, because the, the games would just pop out of the thing. That was cool. I don't think they really do that too much anymore. And everybody with the NES knows knows about the cleaning, you know, you know, wiping the, the you know, using alcohol and whatever and cleaning the discs or the, the cartridges. Nobody really, you never really had to do the Super Nintendo, but the NES, you really had to, but. And then I got to thinking, you know, so they never numbered them. So they they came out with, I mean, you know, Nintendo and Super Nintendo, that's not really great names, but I mean, then you know, it, maybe at the time it worked, it just worked. But then the Nintendo 64. Now that was probably the lamest one because we're like, oh, 64 bit, this is great. But it's still a great system. I have one, we're sitting right over here um, with the expansion pack, you know, perfect dark with that. Uh, people really like Banjo Kazooie. I wasn't really a Banjo Kazooie fan. Um, not really. Um, but. Uh, dude, 3D Mario was just like, that was the hit. I was like, man, this is in 3D. I mean, I would love to play as Luigi. You could do it on the DS, the DS version, but. 
Uh, Wave Race. Wave Race was a great game on the N64. Um, the Zelda games came out. Oh, man. But but I think I was old enough because I bought, like, the next system was the GameCube. I bought the GameCube myself because I was in high school at the time. That came out, like, like 02 or something like that. 03. And I bought that myself. And there was a few games for it. I mean, that's the, probably the least popular of all Nintendo home consoles, I'd say. But the GameCube was great. I mean, unfortunately, it did come in purple, but, you know, whatever. But I had the black one. But the GameCube. Now, that was original because the the game the name of the system, I don't know. They probably came out with that after they figured out what the system was going to look like. But it was awesome. It even had a handle. Your, your home console had a handle on it. It was tiny. And they had really interesting discs, the mini discs. And, I mean, come on. Metroid Prime? Are you serious? Those games were freaking awesome. Oh, Metroid Prime. I remember playing Jedi Outcast on that game. Um, I mean, at the time, I played a lot of PlayStation 2, so I didn't get a whole lot of use out of my, my GameCube, but those were a few games that I loved on the GameCube. And I just loved... It had one of the best controllers uh, uh, I think Nintendo's ever come out with was on the on the GameCube. Those were great controllers. That might be my favorite. Um, the NES is pro... I mean, uh, excuse me, the... Um, the 64 is probably my favorite. I love the 60 the, the 64 controller. Nobody ever used it like this. They always use it like that, you know? Do I have it in here? I have it all wrapped up. I have it all wrapped up in my because I have a 64 over here. But nobody ever every, every everybody was here all the time. Excuse me. It was always here. No game really ever did this. I don't think. I've never used that, but I did use this quite a bit. got it in black I, I they had all the, those colors man it was like red and green blah, blah, blah. just black you know i don't want to get too crazy the red was cool though red was cool man i remember that my cousin my little cousin had the 64 before i did and he was he's like six years younger than i was and i was like as soon as i went to his house i was like I need this. I need this, Mom. Why don't I have this? And then they bought it for me. Dude, that was the greatest thing ever. But anyways, um, so then the Wii, then the Wii came out, right? Wii, GameCube, Wii. Yeah, the Wii came out. It revolutionized a lot of things. A lot of casual games on there, but still good. I got uh, Smash Brothers hanging out right here. The if you saw my video that I posted earlier today, um, I, I I bought Smash Brothers again, playing it. Put it on easy in the classic, and Luigi came out. I was like, yes, 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 Luigi, this is gonna happen. This is how I played it, by the way. I used this this uh, version of it. And Luigi beat me. My favorite Nintendo character, and he beat me. I'm so upset. Poncho's gonna be upset at me because he commented on on my banging on the desk. But I get upset and I bang on things. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I just felt like reminiscing a little bit about Nintendo and the old system. So that's it. Geek things. See you guys later. It was LBD. Having a great day. Again, mushroom in the hayos. See you guys later.